Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the point estimator. Today we will discuss about what is the invariant property of the consistent estimate. Myself Dr. Garth working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute India. You can contact me either of my email IDs are there if you feel any doubt. So what is the invariant property of the consistent estimator? In the last lecture we have discussed that what is the consistent estimator and how you can check that uh, whether any of the estimator is said to be consistent. So if t of n is the consistent estimator of gamma and f is the continuous function then f of t of n is also the consistent estimator of this. What is the meaning of that if I just write in term simple form if I say this is the consistent estimator of gamma the and f is my continuous function then f of this is also be a consistent estimator of this that is the meaning of the invariant property. So the proof is very simple uh, we can complete this proof in a three line. So you just remember that what is given to you it is given that t of n is the consistent estimator. So that is t of n is convergence to the gamma in probability. So what is the definition of the consistent estimator is we have seen in our last class that is the probability of tn minus gamma is less than of epsilon is approaches to 1 as n approaches infinity. Now what is the another thing is given to you f is a continuous function. So uh, in, in the calculus we know that when the function is continuous at x is equal to a. So when we know that when f of x minus f of a is less than of epsilon or less than of epsilon whenever x minus a is less than of the delta. So same thing for here. Now since f is continuous for here so therefore for every epsilon greater than 0 however small there exists a positive integers I call as a delta 1 such that look at that x minus a so since uh, this is converges to gamma so x minus uh, t of n minus gamma is less than implies f of x minus f of a is less than of here or f of t n minus this. Now uh, in order to apply the probability on the both side we know that if there are the two events a and b such that a implies b then what is the meaning of this? This means that if a is the subset of b then probability of a is less than equal to probability of b. So you can think about this I can consider this as my a and this as my b. So what therefore according to this rule probability of on this side is less than or equal to this or else we can write like this way also I can write this that is this must be greater than of this. Now by, by taking as n approaches infinity so what will happen this part what will happen this is converges to the 1 because t of n converges to the gamma probabilistic so at uh, this is approaches here. So what is the definition of this implies that what is the meaning of this this implies f of t n is converges to the f of gamma in probability. So what is the meaning of that that means f of t n is a consistent estimate. So that is the simple quite proof of this one. So look at the one corresponding example and one remark is that if on the other hand if your unbiased estimator is there if a is unbiased estimator then f of a is not the unbiased estimator of f of b in general. So it may or may not be happen but if, if they are the consistent est estimator then it always be there. Look at the one example. If x follows the binomial varied with the probability p then show that this is the consistent estimator. So it's a very simple what is given to you x follows the binomial distribution. So you know that the mean of the binomial and the variance of the binomial. So now in order to prove this is a consistent estimator of this I can consider this as my another variable called as g. So what is the meaning of that? It means this is g of 1 minus g is a consistent estimator. So that's my target. So to prove g of g minus 1 minus g is a consistent estimator of this. How you can prove that? I can simply prove if I prove g is the consistent estimator of p and consider some function then we can easily prove that. So firstly I can prove that f g is the consistent estimator of p. So how you, what is the definition of the consistent estimator? You have to prove that the mean of the g converges to the p, variance of the g converges to the 0. So what is the g is here? So I can start with the e of g. So what is that? This is nothing but 1 by n e of x. So what is the e of x is np. So n will be cancelled out. So it's a p. So this is there. Similarly we can find the variance of this. Look at this p and variance is 1 by n square this is n times and so on this is approaches 0 as n approaches infinity. So you can see these two properties satisfied therefore g is the consistent estimator of p. Now once we will prove that g is the consistent estimator look at the function it will be like g of 1 minus g. So that is x of 1 minus x. 
so i can say uh, a function consider a function this can you say that this is a continuous function yes because this is a polynomial every polynomial is a continuous function so f is a continuous function so therefore g is a consistent estimator of p it means f of g is the consistent estimator of f of p by using invariant property so that is f of g is a consistent estimator of f of p what is the f of g g of 1 minus g what is the f of p is p minus 1 by so that is this is a simple example of this so i hope you can enjoy this short video if you have any doubt you can ask me we will see in the next lecture on the most important property that is the mvue minimum variance of them till then you can simply follow this link for find updated videos best of luck students happy learning